So verse 26, right? After they go forth by the hand of the 12 apostles of the Lamb, from the Jews unto the Gentiles, thou seest the formation of their great and abominable church, which is most abominable of all of their churches. For behold, they have taken away from the gospel of the Lamb many parts which are plain and precious, and also many covenants of the Lord have they taken away. So the question that occurs to me is, how does this happen? Right? And I think on mm -hmm. one level we have this idea that this great and abominable church is just taking those things out, right? That there were books in the Bible that should be there, but when it goes from the Jew to the Gentile, something happens and they're just taken out. But as a student of the Bible, and it's where I spent a lot of my time, the Bible, if you look back at the early centuries, the New especially the New Testament, the tradition's actually pretty secure as far as these manuscripts go. And so this kind of idea of maybe just monks leaning over the New Testament, just scratching things out, <laughs> things like that, really doesn't hold up. And so the question I have is, is there something else going on here in the sense that it isn't just that texts are taken out, it's that those who read the book in the latter days won't possess the tools to know what they're reading. Because okay. the third Nephi is this covenant text. And so the pieces are still there in the Bible, but we've lost the ability to read it in a covenant-centric way, that third Nephi then realigns for us wow. and says scripture is read from a covenant perspective, now apply that to the New Testament. And so I, I wonder if that's a, a, a different way we could read it that mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily toss the Bible out and say we can't rely on it. Right, right. Nephi actually, actually mentions this in 2 Nephi 25, verse one, he says, now I, Nephi, do speak somewhat concerning the words which I have written, which have been spoken by the mouth of Isaiah. For behold, Isaiah spake many things which were hard for many of my people to understand. For they know not concerning the manner of prophesying among the Jews. Nephi, understanding the prophesying among the Jews, being a Jew himself, was able to clarify that in the Book of Mormon, which is why those plain and precious truths are restored in this book rather than being etched out.